we include some slides of the procedure. We mark the vein, insert an IV needle. Uh, through that needle, thread the laser fiber. We visualize the tip of the laser fiber in the leg uh, and slowly withdraw it. Uh, before firing the laser, we insulate the vein, as it were, by injecting some fluid around it. We activate the laser and slowly withdraw it. Some people will put a pad over the puncture hole. We simply put a Band-Aid there. We put a stocking over the leg to compress all the other veins in the leg. And patients walk out of the office. The results are dramatic. Just as in that case at the beginning of our slide presentation, uh, these patients here have had the same kind of remarkable results from the laser treatment only. And again, the laser treatment is often higher than the varicosities in the upper leg, for example, but the varicosities in the lower leg disappear. We ask people to walk for 20 minutes after procedure. We usually do a follow-up ultrasound in about a week, and we'll sometimes follow up with sclerotherapy or ambulatory phlebectomy later on. Improvements uh, with laser treatment are dramatic. Now it's a one or two hour treatment with immediate walking, return to normal activities, no time off work, performed in an office, one-tenth the cost of vein stripping. And it's reimbursed by a Medicare and most insurances. It's a medically necessary treatment. In our office, 100% of our patients are satisfied. Nationally, it's reported that 92% of patients are extremely satisfied. We haven't had an unhappy patient. We haven't seen any complication other than the expected bruising or aching. Complications of treating varicose veins can include wound infections, hematomas, blood clots, skin burns. As I mentioned, we've seen only bruising and aching as the vein heals. Usually, Advil, Motrin, Ibuprofen is extremely effective. Sclerotherapy is done with a chemical called sodium tetradecal in our office. It's FDA approved. And the results can be dramatic with this as well. A tiny needle, the tiniest they sell for clinical use, uh, is inserted just into the skin. Feels like a fire ant bite. The chemical is injected into the vein. The vein is inflamed and heals. We use some cortisone uh, cream uh, immediately after the treatment and the patient can apply some that night and by the next day uh, they're fine. We we'll usually have patients wear a, a lighter set of stockings for three days. It seems to help with uh, healing of these spider veins. Risks of spider veins include of treating it is staining, uh, tattooing, hyperpigmentation, in the old days with saline, there were ulcerations. Uh, there can be allergic reactions. These problems are greatly increased if the patient does not have an ultrasound for venous reflux and if that is not treated first. There are places in our county uh, where people can have this done at beauty parlors. Someone comes in and they'll do it as long as the person wants to keep coming back. But this uh, tattooing is a, is a big problem, a hyperpigmentation, uh, a thing called matting, which looks like bruises, but on careful inspection are, are hundreds of tiny capillaries. These are all complications that are sure to happen if there's venous reflux and this isn't searched for and treated first. It's important to know the cause of vein changes, to know the treatment options, and stop the pain. In our office, we, we like to think that we give people younger legs, legs that uh, look younger and feel younger.